Hey guys, Kev here. <clears throat> I have some unboxings to do. So I got some stuff. Don't know what it is. So we're going to find out. Of course, they have my address on it. So bear with me. Open that up. Watching. I don't know what it is. Let's find out. This is from Sam. Oh, it's from Toggle Tools. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for being one of Toggle Tools' earliest supporters. The device enclosed in this box is our flagship product we call the Mini. It's primordial version of what's to come. Your individual device may have scuffs or scrapes, and our small team at Toggle Tools would be more than happy to offer a replacement with a better version once they are mass-produced in the future. Because your device is in its inception stage, the tools are hand-shaped in a garage and assembled by the founders. Produced in relatively small batches in 6 to 12 months, the devices, God willing, will be produced by the thousand and will function seamlessly. We appreciate your support and please give us any feedback so we can continue making our products better. Uh, until then, we recommend you do not use the Toggle to a Mini in emergency situations. Do not exert excessive or unnecessary force upon the tool. Do not use Toggle Tool as a weapon. By purchasing a Toggle Tool Inc. product, the buyer assumes full and complete responsibility of having ascertained and complied with all applicable local, state, and federal laws and international laws with regard to the possession and use of such product. Review your local municipal and, municipal and state laws before ordering. If you are in doubt, absolutely no sales to minors. The buyer represents that product. Blah, 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 blah. Sam, okay. So I ordered this a while ago uh, after I saw it on, I believe it was uh, Mike Emler's channel. He was at he was at CCKS and he went to their table and I was like, oh, this is cool. So I hit them up and I was like, hey, I'd love to check out your you know product or whatever. And um, communication with them is is a bit spotty. Um, but I got it sorted out. I ended up just buying one. They said they would send me another one. Um, but I think there was a mix-up. And then, I don't know. So, anyway. I have this. Let's check it out. So, basically what this is. Is a multi-tool. That functions like an <clears throat> automatic, I guess. You can see the tools are actually sticking out of here. Um, there's no clip. Or anything. Um... I don't know if there's, like, glitter on me now. Yeah, there's, like, glitter on me. What is that? Do you use glitter paper? Ugh. All right. Anyway, um, I believe you set the tool you want. So there's three options. Two, three. And then do you push the switch forward? Oh. So there you go. You push it up. And you get your um, flathead, I don't even know what this is. It's a little mini flathead or something. Interesting. Pull it down, it's automatic. Pop the next one, so you slide over to this. Pop that up. And you get this. <laughs> I don't know what that is either. Okay. Last one. You get a little bottle opener. Okay, that one makes sense. It's a bottle opener of some sort. Um, it's got some heft to it. So I definitely see this is a prototype phase of the product. It works pretty well. I mean, you can see I'm sliding over the game selector and popping it up and down. Ooh, something just came out of the bottom there, I think. It's uh, some kind of like sheet metal it's not very sturdy metal interesting i mean it works i'm not quite sure what these tools are supposed to be though like this i've never used one of those before i've never used one of these before I think that's supposed to be a knife, honestly. It's just not sharp. Maybe. I don't know. 
And then that one's actually a tool, you know. It's like a little pad back here, I guess, for resting your finger here. So while you're using it, I don't know what that's for. Okay. All right. So we got the toggle tools, uh, mini here. They have a new version. They have a new version that comes out the side that looks cool. Um, but it's probably very right hand biased, which is why I thought this one would be nice. Um, unfortunately there's no tools on here that I really could use. I don't drink anymore. And uh, I thought there would be like a pry bar and maybe like a flathead Phillips or something. But, you know, you can't, I don't think you could even pry on this. You know? Uh, so the idea is there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We are malfunctioning. This one's not working now. Is it? Can they all come off track separately? That's interesting. Yeah. They can all come off track separately. I think this screw is loosening like crazy. Look at that. Right? I don't think I have a small enough flathead here, or uh, Phillips here. So I'm going to stop messing around with it right now. And I'll, uh, I'll update you guys once I have, uh, I'm hoping to get a, uh, like, more production one. Because this doesn't, this doesn't really work, you know. Just got to get it in the right. I think I have to have it there, lined up right. Nope. Now none of them are, all right, now they're all out, but. One of them went in. What? Oh, went the wrong way. Ugh. This one's fighting me. Come on, get in there. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, there it goes. Right, I'm going to leave it alone. Okay, we had that. Uh, this one, I don't know. Do I, do I have a knife here? Got my uh, Praytheon from Arcane Design. I still think this is a great idea. I think they just need to obviously dial it in. I don't think they should have sold these, is what I think. Um, but they, you know, they let people pay for them, so they probably felt like they had to, you know. And I was reaching out, asking like, you know, where it was. I wasn't like rude about it, but I kept being told it was going to ship, and then, you know, I don't know. But I hope that they get that dialed in because I think it's really a cool idea. So don't take anything you just saw uh, too badly. All right. Jeez, what is this? Oh, I thought this, okay. This is from Cavill Knives. So this is the, uh, is a handkerchief. So they sent me a handkerchief, but they sent me a knife that I'm supposed to pass on to somebody. So don't know if I should be opening the handkerchief. I think it's just a uh, microfiber. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to leave that with the knife.
I'll just leave that in here. All right. So this is the Denka, I believe it's called. D-E-N-K-A. Designed by Tigua or Tiguus. Yeah, there you go. Denka. Okay. Um, really cool designer. He's on Instagram. This is a really cool package. Looks, I mean, it's cardboard, but it looks, you know, fancier. You got a little tab here. That's really nice. Looks like a shipping crate. You get a little card with the knife on it, and then you get the knife. Now, this does not have a clip, which is very interesting. This thing is tiny. Holy cow. Okay, you got instructions. You get another cloth. It smells good in there. Um, you get an air freshener. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not going to take any of that out because, like I said, this is, oops, this is getting passed around. It's not my knife, so I don't want to mess it up. I am going to have to tear that. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, this one's going to Jared next, I think. Jared and Eve. So, I will hopefully send it on close to new. Obviously, I got to review it, but I'm not going to do anything crazy with it. Okay, get in there. Come on. Jeez. Holy cow, this is small. And thin. Yes, this is cool. Um... <laughs> so I was a little worried about it not having a clip, but um, the size of it is perfect for no clip. I would 100% get a slip made for this by Troy, and I would carry this in a slip. Um, you know, you got to worry a little bit about these thumb studs that stick out. You could take that off and then just use it as a slip. You know, it's not a slip joint, but you get what I'm saying. I did have some lock stick there, so let me clean off the blade tang real quick. I think it's just going to be oil. I hope it is a uh, liner lock. Look at this. Absolutely stunning knife. I love this design. It really spoke to me. Man, that oil is all over this thing. Um, it really spoke to me. Now, Cavill Knives is a new brand out of China. Uh, yep, it already uh, did not stick again there. Yep, we should be good now. Um, a new brand out of China. Now, I'm not positive on if they make their own knives. Um, but I got to tell you right off the bat, this knife is incredible and I love it. Um, just handling it for two seconds. I know I love it. Look at that. You got Zerku Tai Bits. Nice cut, too, of Zerkutai. Looks good to me. Um, collar as well, I think. And then this backspacer in Zerkutai. It could be Timascus or Mokutai, but you know what I mean. Really cool brushed titanium. Look at that. Really cool looking. Nice hardware. Um, Left-handed with the reverse flick. Oh, yeah. And the ergos are phenomenal on this knife. You have a choil right here, so you're just, like, locked in. Look at this. Thumb lands right here, and I am locked in. Um, yeah, I want one of these. I want one of these. Oh, my God. I mean, and they work. This disc thing actually works like a stud because it has corners. Oh, And that hole in the blade? Now, sadly, you can't get to the hole, but you don't really need to anyway. Uh, hollow grind. On the grind, it's obviously not going to be... It's not sharp right now. Obviously not going to be the thinnest behind the edge because of this. How short that grind is. But cuts. I mean, S cut. Good to go. So for somebody like me, EDC style, this is fine. And you got to remember, this is obviously not going to be a heavy use knife for anybody because of the size of the knife. It is a very small knife, guys. Here is my Praetheon, which is three and a quarter inches of blade, and it towers over this thing. 
Um, here's an F5.5 at 2.9. And again, a Trevor Burger Urban around the same size. And you can see it is much smaller than both of those even. So, you know, you're talking a pretty small knife here. But I dig. I mean, you got really good uh, chamfer here on the lock bar. Whoo! I'm getting that stick again. I'm really hoping it's not lock stick. Um, I'm trying to load up on the alcohol here. Pretty sure it's not, but... I don't, sometimes you got to get in there and like, you know, you got to take it apart to get rid of the lock stick, but you know, I don't want to have to do that. I won't without talking to them, but I can see the oil just pouring out of it. They do that for shipping so it doesn't get rusty or anything in case, but I also hate that companies do that. I'm going to get stick there because I... Put the alcohol on it. Give it a second here. Yeah, if we could get rid of that lock stick, that would be very nice. Because otherwise, I absolutely am in love with this knife. Absolutely stunning. Uh, it is... No, it's centered. It, it, it just looked off for a second there. It's hard to tell. Maybe the spine's slightly off, but it's not like... Ah, oh, man. Dude, the Ergos? It is hard to explain how good this is in my hand. It really is. It's amazing. I love it. Okay. Full review coming on that guy. Let's see what else we got, because I got a couple more, and I don't know what they are. Let's use the Denka. Nice blade there. Oh, Ooh, there's some staples. Got to be careful. I avoided them, don't worry. Oh, some fidgets. Some fidgets. These were sent a while ago. Okay. These are from Ant Design. Um, oh, they have a little pry bar. Okay. They sent me these to check out, which is cool. Comes in a little case like that. Oh, this is cool looking. Not a big pry. It almost looks like the same bag that that came in. Um... That is cool. I don't know why I think it's so cool, but it is. And look at that. You can remove the clip on here. Now, this is from a company called Ant Design, okay? So we've switched up. This was uh, Cavill Knives, and I will do a review on it. Um, this has... Is that... Can you push that? No. But you can take off this clip, which is cool. And you can also take off this ruler. What is going on here? Oh, shit. What? What? Dude. No fucking way. Look at this. You got another spot right there. You got a... Look at that. That's a freaking... Uh, that's a file. They put a little mini file under here. Yeah. <laughs> so you got a little file... You got a magnet retention. Uh, this is fucking awesome. You got a magnet retention spot right here for a bit. And then another one down here. And then you have a freaking compartment to put your bit in. Are you kidding me? And it won't rattle. Well, I mean, but. Whoo, that's cool. And there's screws here because that's how they... I guess that's how they, you know, put this piece together. You can pop that up. You could take these off and take the whole thing apart. I might do a video on that, but there's no reason to. You can't fit another bit down there. No. But you got, I mean, it's perfect. And then you could use this as a flathead if you needed to. Or you could just carry a flathead if you want, whatever. This is awesome. Okay. Oh, and it came with extra bits. Look at that. And a patch. Dude, quality EDC with innovative designs. I'm with you. And then we have the uh, comma here. I'm running out of time here, guys. So I'm going to have to rip through this one. 
Uh oh, we got parts. Let's just see this first. I'll do a video on this. So this is the comma. Okay. I saw like a Kickstarter on this. Is that glow or something? That's pretty cool. So you have these plates, it looks like. Ugh. Come on. And you can pop these on and they do different things, I guess. So this one. Okay. It says pool. Pool what? There's all different ones. I'm so confused right now. That one's like a top, so you could spin it like a top. This one's got numbers on it. Then there's a tool, okay. None of these go on the bottom though, right? Eh, I think one of these you could probably fit on the bottom down there. So if you used this, Okay, took that off. Can I apply one of these? You see that little cross? That's for that, right? Doesn't that ball go there or something? So no, none of those stick into there. Does this now come out? Okay, so I don't think any of those... I think they all, yeah, they all magnetize on. So I wasn't supposed to take that off, <laughs> right? I don't think I was supposed to take that off. Just looks a little weird, right? Cause there's only one side really. And there's more magnets down here, which I find weird. Uh. Okay, so let's try this one. Oh. Okay, so that one clicks. Oh wait, I didn't put it on right, that's why. I don't understand right now what I'm supposed to be doing. Ugh. None of them do anything different. Look, this one has, oh, I can replace that plate, maybe. I don't know, I gotta look at the, I gotta look at the instructions, guys. I just don't have the time right now to do it. You can stack them. <laughs> you can stack them. All right. I got to get into it later, guys. I got to go pick up my kid. So let me know what you guys think down below. I'm really into this right here. The Denka is sexy. And this pry bar is awesome. So shout out to Cabal Knives. Shout out to Ant Designs and uh, Toggle Tools. Keep working on your craft. Uh, you got a great idea here. So love you guys. Hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.